halfway through the fight, I bet Aldo was like, what the fuck, this is not what I was expecting. Little switch stance, teep right hand, and that's all she wrote. Just like that, I can change the fight. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Same thing to Cheeto, same thing to Rav, same thing to Anya, you got Tilapia. Right here's cool hugging the team. Team comes walking up the back crying like a fucking pussy. <laughs> Practice the same exact sequence over and over and over again. Fight week. I mean, it's just a basic, just a basic counter. I mean, I mean, you don't see anybody else in UFC pulling that shit off though, <laughs> like you do. The thing that's different about me and most strikers or MMA fighters is I can. I feel like I'm excellent going backwards or forwards, to where some people are mostly just counter or they're just they only do well coming forward. I feel like I can do both very well going back backwards and forwards. So I think that's the difference. But uh. I mean, Tim, just Tim watching a lot of film on Aljo, me being patient, knowing he's gonna have to commit. If he wants to get a hold of me or touch me or get close to me, he's gonna have to fucking step forward. So it was just patience, basically, and uh, Tim watching a lot of film. Getting one thing into my breath, I can allow my higher self to take over, and I don't have any remembrance of being in the fight. I do that every fight, just kind of have a conversation with myself, just fucking basically allow life that just happened without you know it's, it's not really a thinking man's game it's a thinkless game i'm trying to just not even I'm trying to go on autopilot all the work's already been put in the last 12 13 years of my life specifically those last 8 to 12 weeks and just kind of accept whatever happens happens and you know if i go out there and it doesn't go my way life's good life's fine made money fucking got good people around me like just knowing that so everything's okay after me. If it doesn't go my way, it's a powerful feeling to have to be able to really truly let go. I had like some torn cartilage or some torn muscle shit going on in my rib. Just kept writing in my journal, believe in yourself, be patient, you know, just do what I know I'm capable of doing, which was what I did. And uh, but yeah, I just had some injuries, but in the back, it's not, you're not thinking about that shit. You're fucking focused, dialed, you know, you're. It, kind of ready to die in there. Obviously, I'm not. I don't really want to die in there, but you kind of you get into a different mind space, different head space than just normal life, or even than sparring, or just go somewhere else. How special was the moment with your family, with your team, with your friends in the octagon? Yeah, it, it feels like a, it, it feels like a dream to where you kind of wake up from a dream and you, you remember what happened, but it's like kind of just like it goes fast. It's like. We, it's hard to I don't know, it's hard to put into words. It's just it's fucking sweet, but it's also I don't know. It happens. Just goes so fast. It's just over. It just fucking happens. It's like five minutes. You win. You're in the cage. You hug your family. You hug your friends. And we fucking did it. And then you're in the back. It's just over. It's weird. It's a good reminder that you know the highs come and go, the lows come and go. But it, yeah, it's definitely special to be able to have the family in there. Lena, guess what? Meatballs? Alright, put meatballs in there for you. You want oh. some? Yeah, you want to eat now? Here, the meatballs. You want to eat now? See or not? See? Now with your fingers. Your Here. fingers are dirty. I got your fork. Let's put it on the table. Uh, a little fucking chicken, sweet potato, sauteed spinach. I'm so over this bike camp meal. Put a little Danny's <coughs> homemade. Danny's oh, mom made me some oops. Yeah, homemade fucking salsa. Fire. Meatball's good. What the? You dork. <coughs> Alright, boys, the Miami drop is live. Sugarshop.co. You already know the link. You got the hat. You got the fucking slippers. You got the. I'm rocking the windbreaker. We got two jerseys. One of them's limited edition. We got like six different hoodies, three different shirts, fanny pack. We got all sorts of shit. Check it out. And uh, rock it.
in Miami. If you can't make it to Miami, just rock it at home. You know what I mean?